Hey YouTube, it's Ergo, and I just got back from the movie Interstellar, and I wanted to talk to you guys a little about it. There will be some spoilers in a second, but first, before that, let me just say that I really enjoyed this movie. It, in a lot of ways, reminded me of um, sort of 2001, A Space Odyssey, but for sort of our generation. Um, but I don't know, I, I mean, it had a lot of weird things in it. It had um, obviously the space and uh, exploration type of uh, issues as well as uh, some issues with connecting with people and whatnot. Anyway guys, uh, I I'd recommend go see it but uh, let's get into a little bit of spoilers. If you don't want any spoilers whatsoever, no worries. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Anyway, um, so sort of again the main premise of the movie is the earth is dying. Humans have used up all the resources on the earth it takes place in the future but not too distant like a generation or two down the road is when it takes place and there's been just uh, lots of problems in the world uh, people are starving everyone's basically farmers now the main character comes across this ghost that leads them to what's actually nasa so they get to nasa and uh, matthew mcconaughey's uh, you know the the father here the one that uh, goes and does all this stuff. Anyway, um, gets into space, and I'm not gonna just talk about the plot. What I wanna talk about, though, are some of the interesting things that really made it um, so that I like this movie. If you know me, I love time travel related things and anything really dealing with time, and that's sort of at the heart of what this movie was. Um, they go, well, they first go into cryo on, on this long journey through space. Um, based well really through the solar system first and then they find this wormhole which they do a really great job of visualizing this thing they do a little bit of explanation of, to show you why it is what it is uh, to sort of teach the audience which is cool I think they mostly got it right um, so they, they go through this wormhole which I, I don't know I, I was uh, like leading up to going through it I was expecting like sliders or something for some reason or um, like Stargate with uh, the portal but it, it was reminiscent of that but um, they did their own spin I think they did a good job with it um, then we go out to this uh, <laughs> this planet um, which is uh, very close to this black hole so time works differently there because there's such a strong gravitational field we get to learn sort of a little about that which is cool that they incorporated that aspect about how time works differently in different places um, based on gravity uh, but the really cool part that well oh, hold on, actually before we get to the really cool part th there's one scene that um, you know we're sitting in the theater and they're chasing uh, one of the, the other ships like um, someone turns if you will and uh, they're chasing the other ship. Uh, so two ships are going, they're going up to the spaceship and so, <laughs> someone in the uh, back uh, yells pretty much what I was thinking, fire phasers, I don't, I don't know. Just, it looked like that, you know, it should be a Star Wars type thing with there's no weapons, but it still is funny. They did, by the way, get the whole thing about space being quiet, not having like big loud explosions all over the place. Um, so I thought that was cool. But the part that sort of like really sold the thing to me was, uh, well, they go, well, all right, it gets a little weird here, but they go into a black hole, basically. Um, and uh, I guess the story's premise is that these creatures from another dimension um, that are helping them throughout this here have built this place, uh, Tesseract, if you will, is what they call it in this term. Uh, but they, they go in here and it's really cool that like I've, in my mind sort of envisioned what time would be if you're like to physically look at it because you know we say it's the fourth dimension but it's really hard to visualize it and they do a really good job in this place here it's uh, this whole big place with um there's a bookshelf that they keep like going back to and they, they show like all sorts of basically an instant every uh, like section in this big area is an instant in time and every time you go over to it that that's like the, a new period in time and then it shows also just to like add stuff um, time flowing through like I don't know, veins or whatever um, lines through the walls uh, I don't know it just looks really really cool and it's sort of like I, I again I've tried to think of what this would look like in my mind many times and I just think they really nailed that there um, it was more or less what I've visualized um, I don't know I just like whenever I, I, I visualize it, it's sort of like blocks of like the entire universe just like I, I see I can't do it just watch the movie um, the one thing, again, major spoiler here, but the, the one thing that I thought um, 
was kind of weird that, I don't know, I, I guess... Basically, uh, Matthew Conaghy's character, after he gets into this thing here, he then, well, first is able to send a message, which is the whole point of the movie, I guess. Uh, which that, okay, sure, whatever, we'll, we'll buy that. Um, but the weird part is that or he somehow manages to get out of this place and comes back into reality. Like, he gets through this black hole and, I don't know, I, I just, you kind of lost me a little bit there. Um, the other thing that I guess, the movie tried really, really hard, I think, in, in ways, not only to be the science fiction, have all this cool stuff, but it tried to like make you really feel for the characters and, and whatnot, which I think it did at least a little bit, but there's a scene at the end that I think they meant to be a little more emotional, but I don't know, I, I just wasn't buying it. All in all though, I really, really did like this movie and I would recommend you guys go see it. Uh, at least if you like um, space, uh, if you like 2001, you'll, well, uh, hopefully not be mad at them for like copying just like little cinematic things like the music was uh, somewhat similar the quietness at times was similar but it's definitely its own movie uh, very different as well um, but anyway if you like sci-fi I think you'll probably really like this movie um, I don't know I, I just I, I was waiting for it for a while from the very first trailer I just was like yes I, I gotta go see this and I'm definitely happy I did Interstellar, I'd recommend go see it in IMAX. I love seeing things in IMAX, but I'm sure it looks just as good on a normal theater screen. All right, guys, if you did see the movie, please leave your comments in, in yeah, the comment section below. Like, where else would you leave them? But <laughs> leave some uh, reviews of your own down there. Let me know if you liked it. Um, let me know if you didn't like it and what you think about various things as well. And uh, I'll talk to you guys there. Thanks for watching. Again, thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you guys again real soon. Take care. All right, I know there was a little out of schedule from what I told you I was gonna be doing here, but you're not random videos every now and then also. Stay tuned for Still Saturday, we're gonna have a dog video, and then Monday we'll have another vlog, and Wednesday we'll have thoughts from the shower slash, we'll talk about that when we get there. Take care.